This lovely boy is Yeti. You may remember Yeti was fished out of a drain pipe by Leonard, I think, rescued Yeti. Yeah, he's done really well as you can see, and he's the sweetest boy ever. But I just thought you might like to see, get an idea of a wing. And how incredibly soft they are, the membrane is. So you can see it's super, super soft, and it's really stretchy. And they have a thumb, so that's the thumb which they use for just about everything. It is not cooperating. And four fingers, so there's a tiny finger, two, it's got a claw. And we've got finger three, which is very important. Finger three is the long pointy finger. Finger four and finger five, and then we'll go back to the body. That'll be Yeti. Yeti's not flying yet but he probably two or three weeks he will come airborne and um, begin a new life. It's a very beautiful wing. So you can imagine how easily this membrane is damaged, um, especially on barbed wire fences and in netting, tree, fruit tree netting, and in dog attacks and all the other things that happen to them. Very long, fine bones as well that unfortunately can get damaged very easily. Holes in, wing holes in wing membrane are no issue. They heal up completely well with no loss of volume to that wing. But other injuries, especially if that's a trailing edge along the end, it's not cooperating. That's called a trailing edge. And if that goes, we can have several sorts of issues. That's the leading edge of the wing, the big vein that runs through there. Oh, you're being a good boy today, Yeti. In time for his bottle. But yeah, there we have it. The most beautiful thing. A flying fox wing. Super.